Matthew chapter 10. So fear, fear comes just simply because we cherish our lives. Doesn't the Bible tell us that? That, you know, men, we cherish our own flesh. We cherish our lives. But the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 10, verse 39, He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So the Bible tells us when you're actually trying to keep your life, that's when you actually lose it. Yeah. But when you're willing to lose it, guess what? You get to keep it. So foolishly, people think, well, I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want to risk everything because I might lose my life. Well, God says, well, now you're going to lose it because you wanted to keep it. But in his economy, if you're willing to lose it, God says, all right, you can keep it. Because then you have a man who has nothing to lose. Amen. And those are the crazy guys. Yeah. That's who he's looking for in his army. The guys who have nothing to lose. The guys who are willing to lose it all. He said, Brother Bruce, but you're married. What about your son, your daughter, and your wife? I'll lose it all. I love my wife. I love my children. But I'll lose it all. Amen. If that's what the Lord wants, I'll lose it all. Amen. And by that, God says, well, then you can keep it. Amen. But people who try to hold those things precious to the point where it hinders them from doing God's will, that, those are the people who actually lose everything. 